Hello again and welcome to part 2 of my Prince of Persia Santa Time Let's Play. Let's keep things moving. Last time was just basically the introductory video, you know, just describing how what this game is, what it does, what I like about it. Now we're going to and we did a bit of, we saw a sample of the combat too. This section's all going to be about the platforming. There's only one combat section in this area that I can remember really. So, we just get to have some fun with wall running and other stuff here. There it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Yeah, don't worry about the sands of time, you know, because that's not important. Anyway, there's the dagger behind this thing here. Obviously you can't reach from here. So we need to go around. So we go over this way. I like the little angles it changes too. It makes a mechanic which could get boring stay interesting. I don't personally find it boring, but it adds a little pizzazz, shall we say. Alright, let's keep going down here. These here, these poles, not them specifically, but these are the signature thing about the Prince of Persia traps. Because this isn't the first game ever. There was Prince of Persia on the, uh, on the NES, I believe? It was an arcade version, I know that much. I'm not an expert on the games that came before this one. But in the older games, it was mostly just left and right platforming and traps. I believe you can actually get the remake of the first Prince of Persia on the Xbox Arcade. So if you end up enjoying this, perhaps you should go download that. I won't tell you not to. Right, getting close now. Let's just climb down here. Ah! <laughs> I always forget that ledge breaks. <laughs> right. And left this way. Another thing I like, and I'm sure a lot of people also like, is the fact that the way this game is told is from the Prince's own narrative. And every time you die in a permanent way, you know, death, death, not rewind. Uh, possible death, death, death. He always just des it always ended up being described as him just telling the story wrong. Like, oh, then I fell into a pit of spikes and I had metal coming out of every orifice in my body. Oh no, wait, sorry, it wasn't that. I, I did this instead. It's it's just funny, just just watch him go. No, that's not how it happened. So let's keep going. Have to climb that big ass statue next. And jump down here. Look how big this place is. Jesus Christ. Why would you want something this big? Off you go, Princey. Princey Persie. Oh, hey, up, up you go. Let's come up here, jump across there. There are also two other games which came out after this. I might do those after this one. I'm, I'm not too huge Oops, on the second one. But the third one was also really fun. I know they're all available on the PC, so not a lot of reasons to not to. And that's the dagger of time. It can reverse time. Isn't that lovely? I had what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. I should probably explain the new add-ons to the HUD here. That circle, the white circle, that shows how far I can, you know, I can reverse time. If it's empty, I can't reverse time at all because I haven't got anything in my past to reverse back to. Uh, and those, oh, those golden coloured orbs as well. Those were. I I think I can't, I've forgotten what I called now sand pods something like that. That shows how many more times I can actually use the dagger because it's not infinite. I can only reverse time so many times. To fill that up, I need sand. But there's no sand here at the moment, so we're a bit buggered in that sense. Let's just get the hell out of here. He keeps walking. <laughs> I'm pushing forward and he's walking. Run, damn it! Okay, we're out. Cutscene time. I have brought 
just honor and glory. Your Majesty, you promised me my choice. She becomes important later. Ish. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my cause and humble dwelling. If only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? Gone and done it now, hasn't he? Why did I say that? Now the combat gets a bit more interesting. Can we get a whole new button? These are sand creatures. They are bastards. You can hit them all you like when they stop guarding, but they never truly die. You can knock them